Okay, so this is buddy curving. This is where we clipped and planed um, the side of application, which is right at and behind his shoulder blades. Um, and then we alcohol it off, and then we have to wait for the alcohol to dry, which takes a few minutes, probably the longest of anything we're doing here. And this is going to be the sensor. It's in there. And this is the application device. What you do is you line up these gray lines, put it down there, and then you push it down. You pull up, and there's a little sensor in there. And actually, the sensor is inside this little needle. This needle is going to punch it into a skin and then come back out and uh, allow the flexible little sensor to stay in there. Um, and now I'm going to put some super glue at a few sites just so it stays on because dogs, uh, sorry, tissue glue because dogs like to move around. Um, so I'm going to put just one more, not too much because it'll seep out the side as I discovered last time. Okay, now we're going to go over to Buddy Kirby. And then I'm just going to go to the site right there, push down, and we're going to hold it there for 30 seconds. Good oh boy. Now, when we finish holding for 30 seconds, um, we have to take the device off. Now, it, it ideally would actually come off really easily, but what we found is we need some hemostats to kind of help um, push it off. And what I've also found is the place to go and use the hemostats is where this gray line is, because there seems to be a little, there's a little divot there that we can use um, to plot, pry off the, Sensor. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. There we go. So I don't know if Ashley. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I lied. It actually popped right off. There we go. And that's it. It's gone from here now. And now what we're gonna do? Watch that. How excited Buddy gets about this. Buddy loves wearing T-shirts. Hey, Buddy. Look at that. You like that? You like that? Huh? Okay, okay. Buddy wears a t-shirt and we cover up the sensor. After we get his legs through like a child. And we'll take his leash off in a second. And then what's nice is that you can then, um, we didn't bring the reader device, but you can hold the reader device just above it and it'll um, take readings for um, up to 10 days. It'll be every 15 minutes for up to 10 days, but it has to sit in here for 12 hours before it starts taking any readings. The other thing to remember is that the actual sensor only holds glucose readings for eight hours. So for example, if you're gone for 10 hours, it's going to lose the first two hours of readings, but you'll still be able to get the next eight hours and then the reader will keep those uh, readings forever. Okay, that's it. Thanks, buddy.